Welcome to vlog five. Don't leave me hanging. Oh, awkward. So this week I was filming with Rio Ferdinand. He's a footballer. I don't know why my agent keeps putting me up for these sporting jobs. Apparently I was having to play his best friend. Because <laughs> I look like I hang out with Rio Ferdinand. Anyway, he was lovely. Very tall. Kicks a ball around. Okay, crack it on. Been another busy week. First of all, I went to see Leave to Remain. Which is not a musical about Brexit. It's actually a gay love story, which... To be fair, it's really, really good. I kind of liked it. It's really good to see a gay love story told on such a big scale. It just didn't really land. There were elements to it which were brilliant and I loved. Like, Tyrone Huntley and Billy Cullen are incredible. Amazing. The music was, eh, okay. And the dialogue was a bit ropey in bits. Plus, you just didn't really like any of the characters. I mean, they're gay characters, but we're not all like that. Well, actually. Anyway, critics are loving it. It's getting four stars across the board. And like I say, it's really important to get stories like this into the mainstream. So, yeah, good on them. Do you know what it is? Do you know that bit in Rent? Hot, 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 sweet, sweet. And everybody's like, what? And you know perfectly well, if Jonathan Larson was alive today, he'd be cutting that scene. But because he's not, they have to leave it in. It felt a little bit like that. So I was at Kinky Cabaret again. Can't keep away. My mate Alex James Ellison was singing. He's straight, girls. Possibly the only straight musical theatre person I know. Anyway, he was singing a song with Olivia Gregorian. They were incredible. Tell me something, boy. But he's Sam Murphy, he's Scottish, <laughs> making his kinky cabaret debut. And I was there to watch him lose his virginity. Second Street and Shrek. So, Les Mis fans, did you hear? So not only is Michael Ball coming back to play Javert, having originated the role of Marius 35 years ago, you've also got Alfie Bo and John Owen Jones sharing the role of Jean Valjean, and Matt Lucas is back. Incredible lineup. Oh, and did I mention Carrie Hope Fletcher? That's got him excited. Credit to her. Not only is she the only actress to play young and old Eponine, she's now back to play Fantine. Amazing. That is incredible casting. All those fans that are still pissed off about losing the Revolve are literally beside themselves. Did you book a ticket? Apparently the website crashed. <gasps> wow. Did I tell you I was in the movie? Uh, I got to interview Ryan Anderson. He is amazing. He asked me if we could do an interview, and I said yes. I mean, I was hoping he was going to ask me for a drink. Anyway, if you saw the interview... Because um, I... No, this is my thing. I'm, I'm being very honest, but I think that's what I want to be. I want to be truthful, and, and I 
that started off that year being in not a very good mindset. You know, I was in a very bad headspace. He completely caught me off guard. I was there with my cue cards, ready to talk about all the jobs that he's done. He's amazing, by the way. And then he started talking about his anxiety and mental health. And I was completely overwhelmed by how brave and... Ugh, like how honest and frank and open he wanted to be. And if you watch the interview, it's beautiful. I'm really honoured that he asked me to do this interview. If you didn't see the interview, it's on my YouTube channel. So I also got to see Avenue Q this week. It is so good. Honestly, for a touring show that is just as good as the original, amazing. Definitely go and see it. It is hilarious. And given it's 16 years old, it's still as funny and fresh. And yeah. Can't say enough about it. It's all over the country for the rest of this year. Go and see it. And I got to interview Lauren Smith and Nicholas McLean. Hey. How are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. I'm oh, loving your you. jumper. Thank you very much. My mom got me it. How many costume changes do you have in the show? So I personally always wear this. Yep. But there are many versions of me. Uh, so there's graduation me, act to me. Um, uh, naked me. That's my favourite one. I got to interview a puppet. I'm nailing this. Piers Morgan, what's your back? So Sarah Bareilles turned up at the Waitress Open Dress before the previews started this week. I'm going to be at the press night. So I will tell you all about it then and hopefully get to eat some pie. I can't wait! <sighs> Plus David Hunter's in it. Who is lovely. I love David Hunter. I love everybody, don't I? So I saw another show this week, which is actually really, really interesting. It was called Dracula. And it's set in a site-specific location at the London Library. Honestly, it was quite spectacular. It's a two-hander where Sophie Greenham and Bart Lambert play four characters each, retelling the legend of Bram Stoker's Dracula. The connection being that Bram Stoker actually wrote and researched the character of Dracula in the London Library. It's the first time they've ever staged a dramatic production in this library. And honestly, it's an incredible space. If you can't afford the annual £500 membership, this is the only way you will ever get to sit in this room. The production alone is incredible. The projection, lighting, everything about this production is something special. Definitely check it out. So I went to see an American clock. Is it over yet? Oh, old Vic. Come on. It's not... I don't know what it is, to be fair. Except long. You've just finished a stunning production of A Christmas Carol and you had a monster calls last year. A girl from the North Country, or Sylvia, if you saw all of it. Don't bother with this. Also, the old Vic is literally a building site at the moment. Credit to them, they're spending a lot of money and time reconfiguring all the toilets to make them more accessible and more of them. But in the meantime, it means pissing in a port loo in the street. I managed to catch a little bit of this month's That Cabaret at Above the Arts, where Jack Reitman was singing this little classic from Follies. I think about you. Don't forget the National Theatre's production of Follies returns this week. I'll be going to the press night next week to tell you all about it. Also at that camera was Shakira Rattray with this little classic from Bat Out of Hell. It was more than Of 
love Shakira. She'll be one of the guests at next week's The Show Goes On at Piano Works. And they'll also be a very special guest. More about that later. So I saw a new musical written by Tim Firth, Calendar Girls. The music's by Gary Barlow, Calendar Girls. And it's all about white middle-aged women, Calendar Girls. It's the band. Ooh, what's it like, Calendar Girls? If you're planning a hen party, go and see it. So also this week, I did my first q and I was so nervous. So tell us about it. When did you first come up with the idea? And how did it come up? It came, well, originally it was going to be a one-woman show. And then I, it, I, that was about 2014, between 14 and 16, that I'd been thinking, oh, I want to do something, I want to do something. And then... I, the, during that time, there were a lot of one-woman shows about eating disorders, and they're all very good. The show is written by two sisters called Alex and Kate Donaghy, and it tells the story about Alex's eating disorder and how it impacted their relationship as siblings. It's beautifully done. Really heartfelt, really funny, some really poignant moments. If you want to watch more of that Q&A, it's all on my YouTube channel. In other news, Disney has announced that they are producing a musical adaptation of Hercules. <laughs> so this week, producers of Dear Evan Hansen held a publicity stunt, open auditions. Hundreds of people lined the streets to get into Pineapple Studios. I don't know why though. We all know if you want to be taken seriously and actually stand a chance of getting a part in this show, all you have to do is upload a video to YouTube. In other news, Jack Maple has announced that he's going to be producing a show called The View Upstairs at the Soho Theatre later this year. It'll be directed by Jonathan O'Boyle and choreographed by Fabian Alloways, who just won an Offie Award for choreographing The Rink. And that is Jason Winter's arse in that poster. Don't ask me how I know. Pluck Productions, the guys behind Alkali at the Park Theatre last year, have announced that they've got brand new premises near Canning Town. They'll be continuing to produce new writing scratch nights through Pluck Presents, as well as Silver Standard Comedy, which will be evenings for new comedy writing. Union J star Jamie Hensley has been announced as Joseph. Not at the Palladium, we're still not sure who that's going to be, but Jamie's taken it on the road with Bill Kenwright's production. Last night I went to see Cheetah Rivera, who, you might ask, was amazing. She's 86 and still got it. I'm 36 and can't even find it. Her credits are as long as the list of people that Darren Bell has photographed. It was an incredible evening. Cheetah is a legend. She originated the parts in West Side Story, Chicago, The Rink, and she was in Will and Grace? And Judy Dench was in the audience watching. I managed to resist the urge to get a selfie with her. But then I have made two films with her. I was more excited about seeing my friend Raj who looked fit, by the way. He told me he doesn't even watch these videos, so he won't see that. It was an incredible evening. Pat yourself on the back, Darren Bell. So that's it for this week. Hope you've been well. Let me know what you've been up to. Until next time, bye!